Here's a little fun activity that we can do. It's also a very helpful one and school teachers in particular like this, but it'll be good for all of you to develop your ability to hear the short vowels because it is quite hard. So there's our short vowels down the side. A, e, i, o, a, u, e. And what I've done is I've developed a way of showing that there are seven short vowels. So can you put your hand up like you saw in the poster? Now we tend to already know things like A, E, I, O, U, because we know about five vowels, but this is the short vowels and it's the phonemes or the sounds. So can you copy me and do the short vowels instead? A, E, I, O, A. So I'm actually doing those short vowel sounds. I'll say them and then you say them after me. Ah, and I did a little tap to make it be obvious that it's short. Ah, eh, eh, e, e, o, o, ah, ah. Now, if that's a little bit hard for you, it's just because it's something new. Close your eyes and listen to those sounds. Ah. E, I, O, A. Open your eyes. Now you try and do the whole thing yourself a few times. Remember on the picture, there's not just five short vowels, there's actually seven. So we've also got U, like in bush, and U, uh, like in the word the. Can you see the picture of the hook? So hook has an U uh, and then the U uh in the middle of the hand, like the showing the middle or neutral place in the mouth where we make schwa. So let's look at U. Uh. So we're going to get the finger we were pointing with and make it into a hook. U. Uh. Can you hear the U uh in hook? Let's do duck hands. U. Uh. Got the U, uh, hasn't it? So I'm going to put u on the end. A, e, i, o, a, u. And that's a way to help me remember u, like a hook. And then the last one was in the middle, the schwa, where we just go uh. Can you see that I barely moved because it's the neutral vowel? Uh. Whereas a, see my jaw came down. A, e, i, o. My mouth's open a bit, oh, uh, jaws down a bit. Ooh, I've got like some pursing in my lips, Ooh, but uh, nothing. Uh, it's just neutral. Uh, sometimes I teach kids by just going like someone's hit you in the stomach. Uh, uh, <laughs> and that's how you can get schwa. Let's do all seven. Ready? Ah, uh, eh, I, oh. Oh, uh, my turn. Close your eyes and listen. A, e, i, o, a, o, uh. All right, your turn. You say them as I point. How did you go? I teach that activity to school teachers all the time to use with their kindergarten kids and their year one and their year two, because you can turn it into a discrimination task or a listening task. Children often find it hard to hear the difference between a and a or a and e or e and a or a and u. But they need to be able to hear the difference because the teacher will say, well, write it as it sounds. So I want you to get your hand up and your pointer up and I'm going to make a sound. And this is the activity that you can use with this sheet. I'm going to make a sound and you have to show me what it is. OK, if I can see you through the screen, I'll be able to see from your hands. If I can't see you because this is pre-recorded, then um, you can check for yourself. Eh.
a o e e u i How did you go with that? Wow. <laughs> So that's quite tricky, isn't it? Can you point when you hear the vowel? Could. Did you get oh? Said. Eh? What? Oh? Have. Ah? Love. Ah? Jim, I, said, E, V, E. And now how about the nonsense ones? Soft, O, Rab, A, Dup, U, Pl. Uh, fet, e, hig, i, mab, ah. Could you hear them all? That's so good for your brain and your thinking. We're tuning your ear in to hearing the 20 different phonemes that are vowels in spoken English.